So that van just parked right in front of me without a hood. Just driving around, just no hood. Looks like it could be possibly an Indian man. It is, it's definitely, uh, no, nope, not an Indian man. He does, does look like he's possibly on drugs though. Okay, that is, that is, this is, what the hell is going on? Okay, going back, hold on. Beating time. Yo, welcome to Feeding Time, the big guy ride back here once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, marks of all ages. The marks are the negative ones, though. The, the, the fans are the good ones, the positive fans, negative ones are marks. Um, got to clarify that. Today, I listen to the people, I'm a man of the people, and I've heard the people speak. The big guy, big guy, big guy, La Romare Grande, ride back, ride back. We want you to try Indian food, and I've been to India multiple times. Uh, I'm actually very grateful. I have a very, very, very strong following in India. I went there one time by myself well, with WWE, sent me there for a media right when I turned heel, and uh, and I was already a quote-unquote bad guy, And uh, but India did not acknowledge me as a bad guy because they, they could look and they could see, they could cut through the BS. And we like the big guy, right? Like, you ain't going to turn the big guy heel on us. And, and they didn't. Uh, we packed a mall. It was anywhere the numbers ranged from 11 to 14,000 uh, to come see me cut a little promo to promote a, a WWE video game at the time, which we won't get into that. And uh, it was an incredible experience. Entire mall, layers, levels of this mall. And on YouTube, there's a small clip, but uh, they had to rush me out. Uh, we had to literally run because it, the, the, it was kind of collapsing the, the people um it was an incredible experience like, it was truly like a rock star moment and uh but but they had to rush me and run and dive in a van and the van sped off and took me to the airport and flew me back uh to the states but anyways um a little sharing a little story with you guys today though i'm here at saffron saffron flavors of india off of craig road and the, the um, I'm assuming who's the owner was in there, was beyond nice. And uh, I got a menu here. He actually was kind enough to, to mark down all the vegan options for me or how I could make them vegan, uh, which they have a lot. So it looks like I'm going to be able to add this place to the to the lineup uh, and do more, try more India Indian flavors for you guys. And uh, today, I'm these look like my balls, like the size wise I'm going to show you guys what I got today this is take a look at those Gobi Manchurian and I'm going to go ahead and let me uh, this is vegan and uh, where'd the Gobi Manchurian where the hell did it go it was on all the appetizers this is a crispy crispy fried cauliflower florets tossed with vegetables and Chinese style sauce and this is a vegan son of a gun this is a vegan uh option is uh and he'd marked it as one also but they confirmed it with me when i was there and uh the owner's actually out watering the plants right now i hope he doesn't see me doing this food video like a loser in my car i did tell him though i do food videos i don't think he knew who i was so because i had the face mask on but um oh god he's looking at me right now oh hold on it's awkward. I feel like he's watching me do the food review, but I haven't done it yet. I might have to move locations. All good. A car's van's parking right in front of me without a hood. I got to show you guys this. Holy hell. Hold on. Welcome back. All right. The owner's going back in and uh, the homeless guy, I'm going to lock my door. So just while I'm doing the food review so he can't interrupt me. Um, you never know what's going to happen here at Ryback. Okay, the homeless, it's not home, unless that's his, he's walking up to another vehicle. See, did he just slash the, the damn tires and walk away? What the hell is going on? Is this guy going to go kill somebody? 
I'm a little concerned doing this food video right in front of him because he may think I'm talking about him. Well, I'm, I just want to enjoy these Gobi Manchurian bowls. All right, guys. He's he's disappeared. So uh, I will notify you if he if he does come back. Uh, if I got to stop this video and, and shell shock his his hoodless ass, I'm going to. These smell absolutely delightful. I got me more information, as you guys know. Let me go ahead and... Mm, Gobi Manchurian. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mmm. There's so much you can do with cauliflower. Son of a gun. This is like eating... I don't know what it's like eating. It's like eating Indian food. The spices, though. And, guys, this is actually, he asked me on the phone. He goes, I didn't know how to, he goes, how hot do you want it? One to ten. And I'm, I didn't know, that, like, I go, I go, I'll just make it a five. Because I don't know, I don't want to burn my balls off the first time, even though I can handle heat. But a five is has some kick. Mmm. Oh wow. Now I will say for this particular meal, this is an appetizer. And I didn't know before I went in. They had all these huge entrees that I could get, so I'm going to come back. Um, which they could put more protein in it, he was telling me, and with the lentils and the chickpeas. But this is not a high-protein meal right here. Okay, a woman is now getting in the van with a hood, without a hood. What is going on? I don't know where she came out of. Did she come out of Jay's smoke shop or the gun shop or the shoe repair cleaners? No joke. I'm actually outside the place. I used to get my boots redone, which I would get them redone again I, when I get my, my bottoms resold. There's this great boot. It's cleaners shoe repair here off of Craig. They've always did a, a fantastic job resoling all my boots. So you got to get that done. They wear out, especially when you're doing that WWE schedule. But I lived on the road, whatever it was, five years. But he just kept from behind me. How did he get behind me? The homeless guy that came from the van, but he didn't acknowledge the woman in the van. Well, this isn't good. I want to move locations. I'm not trying to get shot while I'm just trying to do a food review here. Jack, I am freaking Jack. So, <coughs> man, those have some kick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, take a little break here. Get a little <laughs> pump like city by feed me more nutrition. Feed me more .com. <sighs> Today is my cardio day. I'm gonna go back home. I got to do uh, jump rope. And uh, the uh, dead mill sprints today. Oh, the, the lady's watching me do the food review. I don't care. I like having an audience. <laughs> That's what she said. Gooby Gooby Manchurian. I am the Manchurian destroyer. Oh, a hot. Hot ball. Hot ball in your mouth. Woo! Hot. Oh man, these are some hot balls, hot collie balls. Man, I love doing these food videos. I get to try so many different things. I'm like looking now in shopping centers that I never would give the time of day. I'm like, oh, I wonder what hidden gems are inside this. You take these, I, my, 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 I'm just always constantly improving my, 
in no matter what area of life. Like, okay, you're a kid driving around with a hoodie and a mask on, you dumb shit. You're a kid. Your survival rate's like over 100%. I think it's like 105 was the latest statistic I saw. Jeez. Be a kid. When I get done with this video, I'm going to find that kid and lecture him. Uh, ooh, these are intense. There's a lot of different op. This is a really diverse shopping center. We got the the Northwest Arms Jay's Smoke Shop. We got Everclear Pools. The shoe repair and cleaners, saffron flavors of India, stone water dentistry above that. We got the Aloha Nails and Spa. We got a martial art art center, a fan company. Uh, we have a yoga center. We have an air uh, workshop. What the hell that is? Uh, we have a M W Scott Biggs Micro Endotics. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to look that up. And then there's a whole other thing of uh, businesses over there. Then there's some empty empty buildings up at the top space up there. Fairly diverse shopping center over here. Oh, I like my diet. Mm. I highly recommend these. Saffron Flavors of India. They have dining. You sit down in there. They had a whole bar. Man, I would love to come here with the great Kali and just get jacked up on some Howard alcohol. You know, have some good Indian food. Great Kali's a good time. Great time. I also beat him wrestling, so. For the marks. I think I beat, I've beaten all the largest men in pro. God damn, I'm a legend. Holy hell, I never even thought about that. I've defeated... I've defeated the great Kali, Mark Henry, Kane, and the Big Show. I'm the big guy. I am literally a walking, talking, living legend. Holy hell. I did, I did all right for myself. Just kidding, guys. I never beat anybody. I never lost anybody. It's fake. I've only played roles, only acted. Oh, can't wait to read the comments on this one. Still real to me, damn it. Well, I've done it, and it's not. But it does hurt. Ah, uh, this sauce is so good. Ah. Uh, woo! Homeless man is back. He just came from another direction. He's now looking at the woman in the vehicle. Uh, looking back at me. Something is going on. They're on drugs. Oh, 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 oh that just been blowing out of my mouth. She said, again. Give me a second here, guys. Oh. All right. There we have it. Done. Saffron uh, Flavors of India. Uh, that was the Gobi Manchurian. Um, the crispy fried cauliflower florets tossed with vegetables and Chinese style sauce. Wow, that was intense. I got level five out of five on, of 10 to 10 on the spice level. That was, that had some good kick. That was unbelievable. There's so many, when I, you know, I really regret when I went to, India, when we stayed there multiple times, they put us in a really nice five-star hotel. <laughs> Amazing food. They would put out a whole, uh, what's the word, uh, the selection of, of all the foods of, of Indian cuisine. And I always just got my typical meat and chicken and give me that and a, and a carb. And they, they had it all and it was all great. But I wish I would have, you know, just been more open-minded diet-wise. I was always just so protein-dominant. 
not realizing looking at food more from a micronutrient energy standpoint and with the protein still in it and it actually will actually increase your muscle building if you do it properly the healthier and the more energy your body has the better and it will help you be able to build muscle better which is why i'm so freaking jacked right now as i'm getting ready for the big return <clears throat> all right on a scale of one to ten the cauliflower is so diverse so you can do so many different things with cauliflower that sauce, everything. That was an appetizer, and I ate two of them. If you get one of those or two, if you have a, it depends on the size, that, that definitely, definitely recommend that. But I feel very good. Like, I don't feel weighed down, though, or anything, but I feel very satisfied with that meal. That it was just overall, the, the texture um, with the sauce and the different seasoning and the herbs on it. I, I think they had parsley flakes on that as well. Man, I'm giving that a 9, a 9.5 out of 10. It's good. That sauce, I could dive into a pool full of that sauce. Not with the five spice, it'd have to be, it'd have to be like a zero. I don't want to burn the eyes diving into the pool like a jackass, but you get my drift. It's good stuff. 9.5. And uh, I think if I if I come here, maybe come here on a date. Maybe, you know, maybe look for a nice Indian woman, bring her here. And uh, ooh, Faisa would love this place. The, um, yeah, and I, I definitely would get that as an appetizer before the entree, <laughs> before the main course. <laughs> um, there we have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you could please keep your notifications and uh, um, notifications on, and uh, please share this channel with as many people as you know. Um, I want you to literally stop what you're doing after this is over, and I want you to call family members and friends and be like, hey, do you know that big guy, the big guy Ryback, the pro wrestler, the owner of CEO of Feed Me More Nutrition and host of Ryback TV? You should really, really subscribe to his channel because I need you guys. I need you more than ever. There's a lot going on on everything with the social media and the suppression, and I need you guys. I need your help. I need you. 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 So just tell people to watch the damn channel, guys, and you know, I'm it's only going to benefit them. Get a little knowledge, a little humor. You know, some people are going to hate my guts because I'm a big old steroid guy. This guy all jacked and good looking and he does stupid things. He's so full of himself. God, this ego is out of control. Even though everything he does is to help people and, and along with himself, but he constantly is putting out stuff to help people and make people laugh when the world is ending. Oh, God, he sucks. And he's such a shit wrestler. He's just, he's just stupid. He's just, he's just, okay, I'm going to go talk to my other guys on Reddit. He can't make any good scripts out. <sighs> okay. Other than that, guys, feed me more nutrition on feedmemore.com. Save 20% with discount code HOLIDAY20. See you guys next time. Feed me more. Thank you very much for watching Ryback TV, guys. If you could please turn on your notifications and subscribe. Also, check out Feed Me More Nutrition Premium Supplements for men and women, feedmemore.com. Save 20% all of December for Christmas for the holidays with discount code HOLIDAY20 on feedmemore.com. Thank you, as always, and never forget those three magic words because you will be hearing them again soon. Feed me more!